Bonjour. Mais oui, mais oui. Are we on? I think we're on. Are we live? Where was the intro? It was on mute. It's meant to be on mute. All oh, right. So it was on mute. Hello. Welcome along to the Rusha and Shaban show. How goes it? Are you doing well? We are live. We are on air. And uh, yeah, we've got hellos. So it seems like we're all doing well. Do you know what? I've absolutely nailed this technology stuff, haven't Have you? you? Do I you don't know, know what's going on. I'm like Nathaniel's little baby, baby, like, um, production love child. Okay. Is was, that fair I to was say? wondering where you were going, but I knew what you, I knew what you meant. I was baby. I was, yeah. <laughs> he doesn't um, know that yet, but I just think I've come a long way for being able to, like, set up a stream on my own. I'm really, really proud of myself. Yeah, but I think you should be able to, because you used to work in, like, a, a DJ place. You know, with all that stuff. Like, Have you just called it a DJ place? A radio station show. Still do. Aye, same thing. Still do, Cash. Oh. What you just Sorry, know? I'm potting pills. Um, I can't find my cup. Did I not ask you to clear out I my cup? I don't know what you said to me about it. You said something about the cup and then I don't know what you said. I was too busy doing stuff. Do you want your cup? No, it's okay. Do you want a tablet? Do you know what? I'm not feeling very well. Near my... What? You've got cramp. Mm. You know she's on fire. Her temperature's through the roof. I've got toothache. Sore throat. Do it's like all oh, my left side is sore. Like sore throat, sore like ear, tooth. Like my wisdom tooth's a bit sore because I've got too much wisdom. But um, anyway, I'll be okay. No one cares about people who no. don't feel well. Let's just stop talking on, about yeah. basically. What's the Chelsea score? It must be finishing up now. Got to be finished up any second now. It is currently three 83 minutes gone and it's 3 now. Jump yes. on it to zone and you can watch along the last 10 minutes if you it's can. It's on to zone. It's on to isn't it? Yeah. Do you know what? I'm actually booked, guys, to do the Champions League final for DAZN, and I cannot wait. I'm so excited. I'm so lucky. Had you told me years ago, three years ago, four years ago, you'll be working in the Champions League for DAZN, I'd have said, get out of town, you. Get out of town, you little rascal fart. You're lying. And, and here we are, all booked up for it. Cannot wait. Hold on, I'll get it here, Rush on the computer. All right, okay. And you um, just told me to do it on my phone, so I feel like a right mug. I did, but then this is a better screen, isn't Muggins. it? Muggins. Um, by the way, Chelsea look unbeatable at the minute. I mean, that's a thing, but there's a there's a long way to go. Yeah. Um, so you just need them to all kind of keep going. Erin Cuff, but I think you'd made a good point. And um, when our interview she did, and basically, like, they're, yeah, they're still in the running, but... How it can just change like that? And yeah, she, she went. There's now, and then there's me. Right. And it could be four, and there's nothing at the minute. Yeah, me means nothing. Yeah. It's winning everything in front of them now. And I actually thought, my God, you're you're the way they're taught is pretty pretty good. Do the way they're Gant drilled, taught quite good. No, you were never taught anything. No, I think my interviews are quite good. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you're all right. I guess you're all right, but you don't go much. That's for I sure. Want, I do not. Um, do you want to do the drill? Like, subscribe, leave a message, etc. Oh yeah. Uh, just while I've got you all here, I would just like to thank everyone for the support um, along the way. It doesn't go unnoticed. It's just goddamn beautiful. Um, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment to my channel too. Okay, please. Oh, Beggy Bergerson over here, honestly. Beggy Anderson. <laughs> Big and it's not okay. We're, I've just noticed we're both dressed in black. We look like cats. I've actually, yeah, I'm just a tramp today and I'm, I don't care. It's your match. Still huh? stunning. Uh, what was I going to say there? Oh, yeah. Um, Rusha says my boobs are getting huge. She yeah. thinks I'm pregnant. I'm not because I'm just not. Mm -hmm. But um, if you like and subscribe, I'll get pregnant. Is that what you were going to say? No, I was going to say I'll show everyone my new big boobs. All oh, right, okay. But oh, they're very covered up. They're massive at yeah. the minute, aren't they? They're, they're huge. They do look big, but you have been piling on the pounds. That's why I keep saying to you, you could be pregnant, but you're actually just... Do you think I'm looking big? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. At least try and lie. Mm. <laughs> Seriously? <Yeah. laughs> well, I've been um, running. I have been running the last couple of days, so I'll probably get all scrawny again. But I do love getting into the wee running bug. Went around the park yesterday. I felt like... I felt like... Um... A snail? No, I felt like Rocky. Did you? Damn. Dang, dang, dang. I, I did, did get a glance you went running by me. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, I bumped into you. It was horrifying. Street. You look an absolute creep standing around with your wee black cap on and your backpack and... A creep? You look like a creep. I? Yeah. I went out to try and do something useful with my life, but um, I was hanging. <laughs> so I went and sat on the park bench for a while and then 
tell everyone went about back down the road. St Paddy's Night. We had a good night at St Paddy's Night. We um, Ellie's asking how you went to Flight Club. Paddy's Night was. I sat there because I had just got there and I think I'm sweating and I'm menopausal and all that. So I just sat there and had a few pints. Mm. Didn't throw one dart. Um, and that's the thing. I don't know if I'm left or right-handed because I'm just absolute not all there. So I don't know what hand I was better with. So I just sat there and had my pints. And then we went to an Irish bar, went to Gibney's. And um, there was some live music on. And um, and it was a nice a nice night was had. We could you get out and have a bit of bonding into it. But you know what, Rush? You Go watch, it, man. You earned that wee night out. Because can we talk about goal of the season? Oh, my. Uh, apparently it's in the Puskas running. <laughs> Oh, it's not in the Puskas. It's called the Rushkis Award. The Rushkis Award. The Rushkis Award. Uh, it's just me, V me. So I think I'll win it. Well, you've already... That's you scored two goals in the championship this season. It's not. One was in the cup. Oh. Oh, shit. Oh, well. That Spell doesn't it. count then. Yeah. But, um, that's it. We've only got four games left. Do you know that? So talk to me then. Where can I watch... So when are you next back at Dartford? Oh. Unsure. We've got... Um, was it Sunday? Are you at yeah, home on Sunday? No, we've got Charlton on Sunday away. Right. Um, Where's Charlton again? That's, that's and then really we've got Chef. We've got Sheffield and then... I think it's international break. You've only got four games left, And then we're back. And then I think we've only got Southampton and Lewis last game of the season. And that's going to be at home? No, Lewis is away. It's only Sheffield at home then we've got. And that's in a couple of weeks? Or after international break? Um, it's, um, I'm going to say it's the 31st. Something like that, if I'm right. Okay. Oh, God, if it's the 31st, I'm away. It's the 31st, yeah. Of March? Yeah. Oh, bugger, Prince. Where are you? Do you know what? I feel, though, when I go to your games, you just limp off. You're, That's it. you're a half you're a half hearted fan. You only turn up to the big games. You honestly you jump on the bandwagon. You're one of those that rock up to stadiums when they're sold out. And you're a fake fan, is what you are. Plastic fan, I like mm, to call it. Mm. Or a floater. You're a fraud. I'm there when it's gives something to me. What does it mean to me? Here, by the way, what about Beth and Viv at the game the other day? I met she guilt tripped them into go. She was like, You made me watch that shite the other night. When they get beat. Um God, sorry if I offend anyone by saying that. I wasn't trying to. Um, <laughs> what what um, oh, the Friday Arsenal night. Chelsea game? Oh yeah, God. so she got his name in to go and watch Mitch's game. Fair enough. I got a text from Beth saying, "Are you at the shit show?" She <laughs> said, "No, I'm in the pub. It's St Patrick's Day." <laughs> and she didn't say that. She was just genuinely like, "Oh, Rish scored a good goal," and I was like, yeah. "I was in the pub." She was looking for an autograph at the end of the game. She said, "No, she doesn't care. No, doesn't care." To be honest, if it was like that. Apparently she was sleeping on his eye lines. <laughs> they went there for a quiet nap. Yeah. Let the dog run around. Yeah. Um, but well done, though. Great goal. How did you feel in that, that moment? I didn't feel. I just thought, all right, that's us one now. Could, could get beat 3-1. Um, so Where do you get that positive energy from you just got to, you know... Jesus Christ. This is it. The game's not over till it's over. Till and we have been decides. a shit show this season, so... But... Um, we go again. By the way, Cass... Four that's games. A, that's a big win. They're top of the league. Yeah, at least we can, uh, I'd say that, at least we can, um, since Rem's got, got us in, she's got us organised and stuff, and she's, you know, she's on it, is what I'll say. Um, so we could maybe do some teams, uh, you know, cause a bit of havoc if we've got Charlton. Mm. Um, but for us and all, we just need to get points. I was kind of like, where can we actually finish? I think we can only finish six now, but that's better than 10th, isn't it? So hopefully, hold on a minute. Hopefully we can climb. Six is a good achievement. I From think. where we've been, yeah. And I think new manager in, two wins on the bounce is a really... It's like momentum is everything. Yeah. You know? There's been a lot... Yeah. It's, it's not been a plain sailing season, for sure. It's gone quick. It's gone really, really quick, don't I, you think? I can't believe it. It's nuts. It's been the weirdest season ever. Mm-hmm. Four games to go. Yeah. Shit, should we watch the rest of Chelsea? <laughs> I totally forgot we were keeping an eye on them. Well, that'll be over now, Cass. There it is. Chelsea have been beat 4-3. Or have I missed that? I oh, know. I'm joking. Okay, they're just not. For a minute. They're just three nil up, girls. Uh, and we're three. We're into stoppage time. Three minutes. We're fifty seconds played. Now, sorry. Let's just go back to Chelsea before we started talking about your um, your goal again. The Rushkis. The Rushkis award. Um, I do think that that there is a there's a strong chance that there could be a quad here. But then you look at the men's game, for example, in Liverpool. And then them being denied it at the weekend against Manchester United to get through to the semis. And I think... Taking away if you like that, it can... It's that bloody hard to do. That's why it doesn't happen often, you know. Good point, Cass. 
What do you make of Ajax? Well, I've not actually been watching many of their games this season, I must confess. Um, I must confess. So, oh, chances. Chances. Run, great direct play. Oh, <clears throat> not great. But yeah, good. Um, what, what's the story with this Champions League? I know I should be all over it, but I'm not. What do you mean, what's the story? Um, what are we in here? Quarterfinals. This first is quarters, leg. First leg, so yep. they've got them to get their play them at Stamford Bridge. Yeah. Um, I think now that all their Champions League games have to be at Stamford Bridge. Something to do with, like, maybe licensing? What? TV um, rights, maybe? Or... Is that or are you just talking pish? No, no. Do that a bit? They do. They have to be at. They have to be at Stanford Bridge now. Hurricanes. Someone don't know why. But um, what's the name of their home ground? Oh, I always get confused. Kings by Medal. Is it their Kings Medal. The Medal Kings of Medal a not King. Fit the criteria. Who it, really knows? By the way, if you oh, are, you, you um, <laughs> well, you're on YouTube. Jump on to the Zone Women's Football and subscribe there. By the way, you can watch every. Game from now until the final, live and for free on the Zone Women's Football Channel. Just subscribe. You can get in the comments there too. Forty-five thousand people watching that just now, Cass. Very good. <clears throat> Hopefully, we get well, those the Dutchies, numbers. The Dutchies love the football. The Dutchies I mean, do. That they really like when they had their Euros and the big sea of orange and all that. They've got a great set of fans. The oh, Dutchies. you know when they do that little dance. The yeah, yeah. <laughs> do you know what I'm thinking? Euros next year in Switzerland. Hopefully you lot qualify. Hopefully you qualify, right? But I cannot wait to in about the Dutch army. It should be so much fun. Well, Cash, you should be there with the Irish army. Yeah, but you lot don't like da, 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 the way the Dutch do. Because you've been at one major in your life, right? Full Cass, time. We've got absolute bangers, absolute tunes. <laughs> absolute what's, tunes. What's the Irish tune? I don't know, but there's loads, but that just shows what you know. You're honestly a fraud. You're sitting there with your Union Jack on, your <laughs> eye on top underneath your black stinking shirt. <laughs> it's embarrassing for you. Look how white my arms are. I look know. Look at the screen. Look at the, you look really brown. Yeah. I look unwell. I genuinely look unwell. Have I mentioned that I'm not feeling very Maybe well? Maybe you are pregnant. Nuskin scored two, by Did the way, what a player. So and Lauren James, Nuskin, shock and Lauren James scored the first goal. That gal dem is absolutely player. unstoppable at this moment. By the way, I saw your tweet got hammered. What was that about? I don't know. There's people out there that, that there's people out there that aren't well and it's really it's a shame for them. It's so weird. Every I read it and I was apparently like, I did get someone else for complimenting. How can else. you say Lauren? Lauren speak when I grew up I want to be like Lauren James, how is that actually it's like, not the time, Russia. Now is not the time. I'm like, not the time for what? It's just appreciating a I'm really good sure, player. And I'm pretty sure she got man of the match and caused absolute havoc. But player because it, of the uh, match or it came of the from match. me. So But if you actually look through my tweets, I've tweeted about her a lot. I know. I think she's unreal. Quality. Oh, honestly, yeah. I was reading the comments and mm -hmm. I'm like, have I missed something mm -hmm. here? So what? if that's okay with that brigade, um, I hope they're okay. I really do. So it was, it, listen, I read it and I thought to myself, right, hold on a minute. Usually, Russia is all for chops, but how can you, how can you not just look at Lauren James in that game and go, wow, and how you're not allowed to yeah, tweet when that. I grow up? I want to be Lauren, Lauren James. Mm -hmm. And what's incredible is then you scored on the weekend. Do you know what's funny about? Because people were like, you will never grow up. You think you're past that? I'm like, I think this is maybe went over your heads and all. Yeah, <laughs> absolute rockets. Honestly, space munchers get to bed. I'm trying not to. <laughs> space munchers. Mm. Don't bite. Absolute. I know. Don't take it. I'm, I'm not even allowed to speak about the subject. Just off. That. It's not allowed to say the word. Uh -huh. Don't even. Because people might get it's your really swear word. It's not your swear word. It's your, it's your barred word. Really we'll have to get you a, like a jar. Mm -hmm. You have to put money yeah. in it oh. anytime it slips oh, out. Forgive me. But listen, I thought. Um, I thought she was outstanding. I thought the, am the amount of tweets going around about her were so true. And actually, I watched her post-match too because she was on the panel on Sky. Right. There was like, quite a long gap mm -hmm. uh, for the women to film, film on that panel on Friday night while they waited for the managers. And um, and Lauren, I think, just came out and she had like a little bit of chat about her because normally mm -hmm. she's quite reserved in her interviews and doesn't mm -hmm. give away too much. But spoke about that freedom and feeling like, you know, it's like being in a playground kind of thing. Yeah. And when she's got that freedom of the ball. But actually, when you watch Lauren James with the ball, it's like she's it's like she's taking the mickey. Yeah, she is. It's not funny. Is she though or is that just her? Is it's just her how way? she plays because she's just happy and probably just having fun. Yeah. Um, but she makes it look so <laughs> easy. Bless you. <laughs> um, she makes dramatic. it look so easy. Um, and it's weird because like you, she was obviously playing a team. If I'm allowed to talk about that team for a second with like... Really, really good players in the team. Hope that doesn't offend anyone either. Um, that they've got really good players in the team. Um, 
But you think of the quality of them and then you think of her and like her levels and like how good she actually is. Because it's like people are actually trying to get tight to her, but she's just running away from them. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? She's just she's just but I think I think she shouldn't be allowed to play because <laughs> she's obviously grew up playing with her brother and probably has mates and they're obviously very fucking good at football too. So she's just And it's like there's up not there. Do you know what I mean? It's maybe she's been playing in such a professional environment surrounded yeah. by professionals since uh, she can remember. I mean, even her brother is absolutely unreal. Yeah. He's a quality player. It's a shame I mean? his injuries. He's, yeah. like, he's like you, an injury prone kind of guy, touch wood. With chocolate. But you're right. I mean, Reese James is such mm-hmm. a good player for, for yeah. Chelsea when uh-huh. he's fit and available. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah, it's like to her now, it's probably sometimes a bit easier. Mm. Um, but credit to her. She's an absolute credit to herself. She's and a her credit family. to herself. Honestly, she, she truly is. So, do you know what? what? T- tweet again. Tweet again. <laughs> I don't know. I'm. Don't you could upset tweet. anyone out there. I know. Again, honestly. For praising Jeez. a good player. Uh, <coughs> anyway, who cares? Lock me up. Who cares about that? Because Lock it's not up. anything to focus on because it was just positivity. You can't get it can't get in right these days. Oh. Um anyway, let's not go down that rabbit hole. <laughs> let's uh, let's talk about something Gips. that I feel we've kind of missed out on because Friday, actually, what, what was funny, Emma Hayes in a presser the other day mm. said, oh, I'm pleased the sock thing happened because it stopped everyone from talking about me and Jess Carter right, for 20 I minutes. Seen that, <laughs> yeah, I seen that last night, um, actually. Uh. And obviously that stems from mm-hmm. player-manager relationships and then Emma Hayes talking about player-player mm. relationships. Now, yep. I think if you're going to go into this subject, you almost have to be holier than now. Oh, you have to be whiter than white. Am I allowed to speak about this at all? Cause well, no, because you've, ha- you've been in a player relationship. But, so you, no one can... Allowed- well, no I seen, God I seen her like yeah, I'd seen people and I was thinking people were like going off the nut about it and I was thinking, I think what is it she then said like she said inappropriate so she didn't mean to use that word she's kind of took that back and said I shouldn't have said inappropriate yeah which I'm like yeah yeah it's not that's maybe wasn't the word <clears throat> but I think I can't speak for her because I'm not her but I can speak for myself who are you and what what I would take from it is maybe she meant like or what I would see with it is there could be a problem but it depends on. The person, it depends on the relationship, but it has potential to bring a problem to training some days. Yeah. Because let's be honest, when we are females and sometimes you've had an argument or whatever, sometimes it's people would know that. Um, people can sense that. You're probably not sitting beside each other then at meal times or yeah, it's obvious. Different people, different maturity levels, but um sometimes it can maybe be a bit of a problem. Or a bit of an issue, not all the time. Mm-hmm. Um, but you'd be trusting, you'd hope that people are mature enough and old enough for it not to be a problem. Um, but it happens like, in all be, environments. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, a, mm-hmm. there's always, I know, oh God, I can tell you, a number of workplace relationships of football doesn't become any real different cons- uh-huh. in terms of if it's a, a workplace professional environment. But the other thing to point out is that. I guess with the player manager thing, it's like, when does it become crossing the line? You know, when does it become an abuse of power? And I was speaking about this on TalkSport the other day with Simon Jordan and Jim White and Danny Murphy. Because obviously, when you look at Willie Kirk's pending investigation, Jonathan Morgan's investigation, Mark Sampson say mm-hmm. in the past, it, it happens. Mm-hmm. You know, people people fall in love with a boss kind mm-hmm. of thing. The boss may fall in love with a player. But actually, when there's more eyes on the sport and it's becoming unprofessional, it, it can then seem unprofessional kind of thing. And I actually think you can't help but look at it a bit sideways. But then that has to be across the board. It's for it's for female managers and male managers. It has to be one rule for everyone. And those who don't identify. And those who don't identify. It's it's rules across the board. Mm-hmm. Really working hard on your pronouns mm-hmm. Thank and you. working hard. And that's good because we have to be better at that. Um, <clears throat> anyway... I, I just I just wonder what the future of this is going forward. And if there has been any anything inappropriate, obviously it's all alleged just now. Um it it, it will be revealed, but I also fear that then there could be a bit of a movement in this moving forward because you've spoken about in the past, say when you were younger, mm-hmm. maybe in a bit of an abuse of power. Yeah. And you won't go into details, but you've mm-hmm. you've you felt that. Yeah. <coughs> is that the end of the story? Were you was that a question? Right, because you just, just like you were going to say something, you just didn't stop. <coughs> yeah, definitely. Well. Um, I was speaking about this actually the other day. Um, and yeah, there's def- there was definitely roll back the years. Yeah, roll back 12, 15 years. 
Um, and maybe there's stuff maybe not in place as then, but now we're, the, the game has come such a far way. It's a professional place. It's a professional working environment. Um, so I think now people have got to respect that and know their boundaries. And if you are a manager, you're within a, a position of power yeah. and trust so it can become complicated. Or if so, it has to be reported straight away and whatever happens. But I mean, if you're getting with the boss, it's a bit... No, do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, yeah. I, I was there where I'd say there was definitely somebody abused their power. Um, and when I stopped doing and going to the extra sessions and all the shite that I was to do, um, I didn't play. And that was just purely power. But I think um, with me, it was probably a bit of, because of my personality, um, I was a joker or whatever, and I think there was that, I want to be able to control her, I want her to fall into line and sit a beer a certain way, and that was definitely, the, I mean, that was how it went on. Mm. Um, looking back now, you're like, Jesus Christ, like, it's actually, well, I find it comical because I'm like, it was just wild. Um, that it even happened? Yeah, yeah, uh-huh. But there's also, it's been going on in the game for how long? But that's the thing now, um, and it's still going on. Are, are there conversations? Co- what do you mean? Like, from players like that? Uh, do Are you, you know your experience, mm-hmm. but uh, do you meet players who have had similar experiences? I, I know, yeah, another person who would be at my club right now who's probably had similar experience, a bit different, um, but some, like, similar definite power thing. Mm. Um, and there's probably some people that haven't, and there's probably some people that wouldn't want to say if they have. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, there's, it's definitely goes on, but now it's changing. There's ch- changes coming, I think. Um, mm. But I'm not, I know what you're saying. It's not all wrong. Sometimes it's consensual, sometimes it's... But then it's like, how do you work with that and how do you move forward with that without it becoming yeah. do you know what I mean a, a problem within a team and I guess that was Emma Hayes she went down mm-hmm. the road of the player player relationship you know and it came away from the player manager mm-hmm. relationship it's like well who's to say like that you can't fall in love with I don't know I'm trying to think of some of that well, I know you're trying to court her yeah. anyway baby G mm-hmm. do you know what I mean like who's to say that that's not okay like player mm-hmm. player relationships but the difference is with a, a managerial role is that it can affect the dressing room yeah massively mm-hmm. so can player player relationships yeah. too but i just think i just think it's it's such a tricky one as the game becomes yeah. more professional it will become scrutinized mm-hmm. more and then where is the line drawn between yes that's a consensual relationship and that is an abuse of power mm-hmm. kind of thing because yeah, I mean, I, I, I could, yeah. No, it's, it's I mean, I couldn't hate it worse though. I've actually waking up in the morning with your bird, <laughs> going to training with your bird, <laughs> coming home from training with your bird, <laughs> going to bed with your bird. Do it like, yeah. no, thank you. No, uh, no. But it happens. Like, yeah, the, the thing is, as well, I've got like, mates, that, mates that do it. Do you know what I mean? I've got mates that are like together. Yeah, uh-huh. or, um, and that people find that fine, but I'm just thinking I would need a break. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I like Mon Space, so don't I? You could get put in your cage under yeah. the stairs and just sit there for a while. Yeah. Um I like that. But listen, it absolutely blew up. And then the game happened on Friday night, Sockgate happened, and things changed ever so slightly when it came to a focus on that story. Um <clears throat> but anyway. We'll talk about that another time. Um do you want to tell everybody about the story that you've sent me three times in the last twenty four hours? Yeah, I didn't realise I'd done that. Yeah, I'm like, the clearly prince. this is in your head. <laughs> it came up and then it, I was talking about it today in the car. Uh, with Danny Mitch. <laughs> why are you so obsessed? Don't know. Tell everyone the story. Because keeps, oh, I know why it came up. Anyway, a nine woman in Ireland um, basically just gave birth to twins and didn't know. Well, she started bleeding during the night, went to hospital, and there she was. Gave birth to twins, well, C-section. <gasps> didn't so- have a Scooby-Doo, was getting a period, was on the pill. And that's why I'm saying to you. <laughs> now keep going on about it. I'm, like, I'm not that far. I've just got massive jugs. Jugalicious. Look at that. I know, man. Uh, no. I'm giant. It's a pure, in fairness, pure I'm grabbing onto my lurch there like that. I'm giant. I'm a big girl right now because I've been. Oh, I, I use my pe- I've, I think my periods have really messed me up right now. But, they um, make you bloat, don't they? Uh huh. But I, I used it as a right excuse. I was like. My period. Well, why don't you... You run about and tell everyone you're pregnant, then? I mean, I could be. I the could immaculate be. conception. Oh, hold on. Cryptic cryptic pregnancies creep me out. 
What's that mean? That's from Deborah Duddy. That bird's beak in a blanket over a cage. <laughs> I'm quite bored. I was just thinking about you in a cage with a blanket over you. Um, but, ah, oh, you know, I've heard stories, you know, I think it was somebody I used to work with, husband's sister went to hospital with bad tummy pains and was in labour. Mm-hmm. Like, ha- for nine months, I carried a baby and the baby, the position of the placenta yeah. or the position of the sac was like almost up the back. Therefore, it was on mass. But also they do say when, in some circumstances, if you don't then know, you don't get the symptoms. Right. Do you know well, what I mean? Yeah. So you still uh-huh. can't... How does your you body don't know? So it's still like a have a pain? Uh-huh. Don't know. That's a mental mm-hmm. story. Uh, it makes me think that the Virgin Mary was actually... She did say a prayer. What do you mean? Like, she didn't even get pumped. <laughs> she was, it was magical. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> well, let me tell you something. Yeah. That's not true. Okay. How? Because you have to, the sperm has to meet the egg kiss. Oh, I don't know. I don't know about this one. We got, that is, this it's the, a it's, miracle. It's the most <laughs> natural thing on on the planet. Mm. It's, it's It's called life. Life. And it's basically a case mm-hmm. of sperm meets egg, so mm-hmm. I had to happen. Mm-hmm. Are you going back to biblical days? Because be careful with how we met offend people. Remember, we are live. Yeah. But are you starting to now maybe doubt going... yourself? No, I'm just starting to think that maybe my rabbit could get me pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> Poor rabbit, what's his name? <laughs> um, oh, God. Fuck being your rabbit, by the way. That's Grow disgusting. up. <laughs> you get pumped. Grow up. <laughs> Here, um, somebody's saying, Rish, you should adopt. 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 I think maybe you should look at I live in my one. sister's loft. Imagine me rocking in my wean, but like, oh, look. I know. Do you know what I mean? You'd, you'd actually shave your barnet. You'd have a full on meltdown. What would I do? What would yeah. I do? I can't control these two. Yeah. Try to look after my husband and you. Yeah, maybe, but no, um, I, I will. I'll have, a, I'll have a baby one day. It's creeping up on me, though. It what really is creeping call? up. What are you going to call your baby? Um, boy or a girl? What would you like? A boy. You have to be boy. Just I, I like right, more boys' sexist. names. <laughs> I just like more boys' names. That's the only reason right now. Go on, tell everyone you remember no. when you were young. It was like, oh yeah, Bradley, Brady, Bruno, Brody, 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 Bradley, Brian, Brad, Bruno, Brody, Bradley. Don't know. There's a few names I like. I like Caden. Like, uh, no, I'm not saying my Irish names. I like because. People will take them. Even more people like you will jump on the bandwagon. What is it? No, Brogan took Killian. No, I know she, she did didn't that, take so Killian. Like, uh huh. I just she oh. did take Killian. Can't trust anyone these days, honestly. Brogan was was another sister, but we cut her out her life when she yeah. took the name Killian. Yeah. Uh-huh. By the way, Killian a bit clingy, wasn't she? A bit much. She was just getting a bit much. She'll be watching now like uh-huh. that. By the yeah. way, and she's f- got she's got a different dad from us. So f- I know. I know. I hope we can find him one day for her. Uh, I FaceTimed her earlier on. I FaceTimed mum and Brogan mm-hmm. was there wearing maybe the worst outfit I've ever oh, seen. was it? And I went, what are you wearing? Mm-hmm. It looked like she had like nipples on top of her nipples. What? On dress. Lovely. And then she turned around and she had on something. And it was like wine coloured. Like the actual bit of like the lining of the boobs was like up high. Mm-hmm. And it's a maternity dress. Can we say she's pregnant again? I, we are live. We've said it. She's now. pregnant. Congratulations. We'll make, bring her back in our lives. But um, I was just like, what What the fuck are you wearing? Right. That's terrible. Well, she's probably up in her room crying now. I told her, her to her face. Be all over the gap. Straight up. I said, do me a favour, screenshot mm-hmm. that picture and right. send it to Rusha. Right. But she hadn't. Had she's she... not done it, no. Brogan, send us a picture of your dress. <laughs> it was absolutely <laughs> tragic. Tragic, I would say. If you could leave out for me next time I'm up, I'll take she you for a like, spin. It's a maternity dress. I was like, I don't care what the hell it is. Mm. Bin it. Um, I need to go shopping. I need to go. Guess, guess where Do I you was? Want to go to the Aye. But guess where you had me in the holiday? The Marie Curie charity shop. I was like, what is going on? I was in the Marie Curie shop. That's where she took her kids for a day out. It's um, people think life here in St Albans is all high flying. It's not. Mm-hmm. Take your reins into Mar- Marie Curie. <laughs> What's wrong with that? It's pure shocking. I love anyway, Marie my point of the story no, was... the thing is with ca- a, ca- a charity shop uh-huh. is that you're going to find really what you're looking for, mostly because the kids don't know. They they, they chose... A, I let them choose a toy. Mm-hmm. And they chose... Like they needed another toy. Exactly, but it's the charity shop, so don't I, start, I got it for don't three start saying, Don't start saying this was about the charity shop. It Cass is about the charity shop. You... 
Shouldn't you be buying your kids any Hold more on toys? A minute. Talk They're about charity. You're Saint living Robin. rent free in I my spare room. I am not room. living rent free, and I have to come Treating in. Treating this place Honestly, like a hotel. You and your husband creep upstairs when I'm sleeping. <laughs> they go in the bath. They leave their pubes on my sink. <laughs> no, we There's don't. all sorts of things that go on in this. I've never been weird. in that bath. Uh-huh. Your kids come up to me when I'm trying to sleep. One of them wakes me for honestly god awful singing in the morning. She needs to tone that down. <laughs> uh, there's a lot of things that go in this house that's not okay. Um, but but I'll stay going to a charity shop should when not do you think ever I should be move frowned out? upon. I'm not frowned upon that. I'm just saying you took your kids to the charity shop for the day out. It was already mm. anyway. And I was there and I walked in. And I thought, what am I doing with my life? Walk back out anyway. But my point was, I need to get a grandma's outfit. So I'm going to go Ooh. back to charity shops. Is this for that. the Dublin night? Yeah. Oh, mm-hmm. I just hit you up one even better. Go to Brogan's house. She's got a dress <laughs> that you can borrow. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, I didn't go to Dad's wardrobe because mm-hmm. you know he's got some stuff too. Mm-hmm. Hey, when do you think I should move out? What do you mean? Do you and Jamie like sit and go? It's about time. Oh, she's still upstairs. Oh, she's really getting in her way. She's upstairs again. Do you ever speak about that? Not really, No. No. Do you think he'll say to me? Because he feels sorry for you. Do you think so? Because he thinks you're an absolute tragic mess. Is he? He's like, God, she's tragic, isn't she? And I'm like, I know. Mm-hmm. She is tragic. Mm-hmm. And then he's like, it's quite nice, though, that, you know, like, she's got fans and that that like her, keeps her strong, and then you bring all, bring home all your gifts. You sit eating your he chocolate in your room <laughs> and your cans of iron brew, and I'm like... <laughs> Have you seen the in betweeners where, where Jay's like, oh yeah, you're, they're like that. Um, oh, we're Simon's friends. And he's like, oh, Simon. And he's like, yeah, ditched him. He's so tragic. I'm like, that's my new, that's now what I'm going to say for you. So tragic. By the way, yeah, Joe Perry saying charity shops are great, especially for kids' clothes and toys. They grow up so quickly. It's so true. Saying that your kids, man, they are, their clobber is shocking. You must look at that sometimes and go, what you wearing? That's the thing. My kids aren't... They're not decked out. Oh, no, they look... Honestly. Like they've gone missing somehow. Yes. Uh-huh. Yeah, I know. I know. They don't look great. Actually, in the charity shop the other day, you'll know this if you've got kids and they get to that age where they say things they shouldn't say. Yeah. And um, the woman who had served us at the <laughs> counter, she had a, an, a problem with her eyes. Right. Um, God love her. And Brooks handed over his toy and went, what are you doing with your eyes? And I was like... <laughs> Brooks. Brooks. You can't say that. Bricks! And he was mm-hmm. like, oh. And I was like, be nice. And he was like, your eye's okay. And I was like, get them. Get, out, get, get your toy out. and get uh, out of the shop. And she just smiled, bless her, because, aw. you know, they're kids. But um, I've, had, I've I've been in the shop so many times when they've come out with things like that. I'm like, guys, can we just, like, not? Yeah, it's quite awkward. Mm-hmm. don't really know what you'd do. I know. But they, they do it. They go through it. I mean, that's the thing. It's, it's like it's learning that everybody's different. Yeah. I hate when kids are playing with each other and all, and you're like, you can see them like arguing about to argue with other kids, and you're like, do you say something because they're not your kids? I don't mean no, them too. I mean like when there's other kids there, and you're like, it's pure awkward. I'm like, what when when they start to get aggy with each yeah, other, and uh-huh, you I'm know like, it's going to turn. Yeah, sometimes you need to let say. them have it out, kids. Yeah, not worry about it. Yeah, there's been a few times where I've had them at classes or whatever, and I'm like, I know you watch them like fighting over a toy. In fact, yeah. that happened today actually with little Mila who lives oh, next oh, door to us. <laughs> this fish, just dig him. Go, go. <laughs> Imagine you <laughs> teaching them to fight. <laughs> in fact, on our wall, you know, we've got in the kitchen um, Tiger Woods, Chloe Kelly, and Muhammad Ali. Yeah. Brooks was like, What does he do to mm-hmm. Muhammad, Muhammad Ali? And I was like, He's he's a boxer, he mm-hmm. fights. And he was like, Fight? Like a whooping. Because mm-hmm. you know, him, yeah. and, him and Jamie whoop each other mm-hmm. every night. I was, I was quite cute. Yes, he whoops for a living. He whoops. He's a whooper. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> anyway, why are we on this life? What is it we've been speaking about? I don't know. We've given you absolutely no information. Um, do you want to talk about the NWSL, please? Yeah. Um, because so, it's returned and it's back. So, go on. This is all I know. I tried to look into it yesterday. Right. But I don't know if I mentioned that. I was a wee bit delicate. Mm-hmm. Um, so basically I'd seen that so Kira Carusa her team which is called um, San, San Diego Wave San Diego Wave played Winner Gotham play show with Brogan. they played Gotham mm-hmm. and San Diego won so yeah. this was like they'd won the league and one of them had won the championship cup so they played against each other that was that but then the season started too, so I found it weird because I'm like, surely they would have done this the week before so they could have then all played the league game together. 
So now they've not played their first league game because they were playing that cup thing. Didn't make sense to me. I thought that was weird. Anyway, that's all in all. And I know that at the other game, <laughs> Kasim, at the other game, the 5-4 game... What are you telling us? I, well, I'm trying to say I don't understand why they kicked off their season playing that game on at the same time then when other teams the were playing season. their first league game. Because mm, then it's like they're, they're behind. Somebody let out a fart and it wasn't me. Oh my God, did you hear that? Yeah. Did you hear that? I think they did. I think God. they would have. Jesus See, that, that is my point. Why would they... Like, it's like, you know how... Um, let in England here before the, the league starts, before the Prem starts, they play. Aye. Do you know what I mean? So it's like that would have been done the week before. Yeah. Uh -huh. not, yeah. So now the they're playing weekend. catch up, so it just didn't make sense to me. Fair enough. But um, I'm not judging. I'm fine with it. Just that um, Port Portland Thorns Kansas City game mm -hmm. was an absolute belter, but also uh, KC had just mm -hmm. opened a brand new stadium, which I think is something we should touch on now. Is yeah. that it's one of the few women's built stadiums yeah, in amazing. the world. Yeah. Eleven and a half thousand. It looks brilliant. And what's his chops was there? Patrick Mahomes? Patrick Ma Your dog. Your, Your dog. dog. You like that, huh? No, he you, doesn't do that. He doesn't, he he doesn't does that? do that. That's a little one. That's um, Travis Kelsey. No, no, Cass. Mm. His name's his name's got me. I've, I've lost his name. <coughs> Gosh, I just can't keep healthy. It's just ridiculous. But yeah, but he was there. But then the only thing I think that's amazing, but I'm also like with the, the way the game's going, it's a shame the stadium wasn't a bit bigger. Do you know what I mean? Like all that money and all that work. Am I being too negative? But I'm like, it's not a lot of people. Do you know what I mean? This is something, <clears throat> again, I'll, I'll happily discuss with you, discuss now is that you look at, say, Boreham Woods and mm -hmm. the amount of fans that can be, was it four and a half thousand, I think, Boreham Woods? <sighs> well, that backstand now, maybe, yes. Yeah. Call it 5,000. We'll call, call it five. five. I think it's four and a half. Give it for Rich's math, we'll call it five thousand. Yes, it's even number. I think there's a possibility say, going number. forward that there could be Arsenal having to play all of their home games at the Emirates. Mm -hmm. But then I also think Sunday night, late night, Friday night, say it's a 7.45 game or 7pm on a Friday night, does the Emirates then start to look a bit sparse? But actually having your own... Ground eleven and a half thousand. See Arsenal or the next stadium to go and do it. Have their own built, you know, accommodation for their games. What would be the capacity there that they're likely going to fill out week in, week out? You know, is it twenty thousand? Would it be fifteen thousand? But I think you look at would the, it be fifty? If you look at God again, I hope be I don't careful. Up, honestly, please fasten your seatbelt for what's breath. about to come next. Take a breath. If, is this a compliment? God knows. Right. God knows. If you look at their attendances so far, they've been up Smashing at what? Uh -huh. So Smashing they're like, like coming in 10th if you look at the Prem, where the attendances obviously the Emirates is a 60,000 capacity seater. More. God. If I've missed I it a few thousand, I'm so, 62. 62, I think. Okay. You bitch. Don't worry, that wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Just hit me for that. Uh, yeah. On cheek. Just give me that. Right. Um, because it's harder to scalp you. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> Ken. Um, oh God, I'm sorry. nervous. What might happen oh. next? Time. <laughs> <laughs> so as I was saying, as I was saying, they've been getting really good turnouts. So surely now, how, how many games have we played? How many have we played at Bournemouth? So they've got. Basically, if they can be getting 40,000 people there, is that not great? Yeah. But the thing is, they've been getting... Gotcha. They've been getting nearer 60, so I think if they can continuously keep pushing that, yeah. that won't become their norm. But how do they keep it there? I mean, they want to start <sighs> getting a win. You say that? Oh, come here. No, I'm no, scared. I'm scared. Just, just, just go gently. Just upset go gently. people out there. <laughs> go just and go they will want this. Just go gently. Right, gently. Put your hands. Oh, I'm scared. Hands. I don't like this. Put your hands on your head like that. No, Put your hands on your head like that. Do it. Move your elbows. Move your elbows. I don't like it. Do my hand. Just slap my hand. No, please. No, because the people, you've offended a lot of people out there. People are angry and they want justice. They want justice. They want justice. Move. No, Rush. You have to, just quick. You're making this harder than it used to be. Go, fucking do it. Why are you taking a run out for the love of God? Why are you taking so long? Mike, move, come forward. You for real? Move. You embarrass himself. That, that was all it was. Honestly. Sweating. Sweating after that. Uh -huh. I was nervous. It wasn't too bad uh -huh. after all. Could do it again. Hard and off. if anyone else out there would like to see the death penalty brought back, 
Oh my god, it's that was so wild. So yeah, I think we've got to start aiming bigger. There is teams that we know probably won't get sixty thousand people at the stadiums. Uh huh. They definitely can. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's a compliment, by the way. Hit me again. Hit me because that was I can't believe I said that. Jab instead oh. of jab. It. <laughs> Just threw you out. <laughs> was that so? <sorry? laughs> sorry. Don't me stand on your Achilles legs. No. <laughs> God, I'm so sorry. I didn't think that would be sore. You scare me because you're smiling at me. I can't say if you're going to <laughs> fuck me up. <laughs> um, okay. <sighs> that went off piece. God, anything else to talk about? No, I think that's just about us. Mm. What have um, we been speaking for? 40 minutes of absolute minutes. nonsense. I don't know why people put up with that, but yeah. people seem to like it. If you haven't already, maybe that's a good way to get another subscribe. What? Ru I'll let Rusha stand legs open and then I'll put her right up the right, No, sorry, they went off track. So uh, there's this podcast I've been listening to. Um, I don't know if I've said this before. It's what? called The Reality Check. Right. And um, it's wild, the stuff that goes on. So basically there was a woman that was a dominatrix and she gets people coming to her and that was like some of the things is like she volleys them up the sack, some of them like nails their ball sack to a chopping board, all this. It's wild, like the stuff that goes on. Um, uh. But this is real life. This what, is they, real they life. they like it? Yes. But I'm like, who likes that? I don't Do you know. know what I mean? Like uh -huh. you have no idea the fear levels I had there about you getting ready to yeah. slap me in the face. Uh -huh. I'm terrified of that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. I can, I can chuck it verbally. Slapped your, his belly over your face before? No. <laughs> no. I've never seen it. He's wee pecker. <laughs> See, this is why he's getting ready to chuck you out this house. Is it? Because you're shaming him. He's got yeah. a winky woo and he's gaining weight. You said that? No, you said, it last, years, you said it last podcast. The two years are obviously feeding each other. Mm -hmm. You like that? Uh -huh. Bite. Take a bite. Your fingers been up your arse. They're rotten. <laughs> No, no, no. Really? <laughs> oh, gosh. Um, by the way, so... Ow! Sorry. <laughs> right. Your first slap was pathetic. Less so scary go. there, because <laughs> I didn't know it was coming. Um, a lot of people asking about the Kate Middleton conspiracy. Have, Have you? she vanished? I, I don't know. My mum was talking to me about it, and I was kind of like... Mum's proper into it. Uh -huh. Anyway, now in the car, the girls keep speaking about it. It is And mental. I'm just like, so it's happened. But then she was spotted in this farm shop she at the weekend. Seek. But people were saying it wasn't her. Is that the one who's walking about and people are going, that's not her? What do you mean walking about? Well, mean? she's walking with him. Uh -huh. Why is he not getting a hair transplant? I don't think you're allowed to say that by royals. Am I not? Well, uh, just did. They'll come after Oh, you. God, that's everyone else. So, oh, I can't... I've spoken out of tongue again, have I? I'm going to have to give uh -huh. you a little punch on the schnau schnauzer. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I, I um, think that... All that money I'm giving him, we could at least do that. Somebody actually said... Mm -hmm. What? What? Keep what? going, I'm just oh, waiting. Was yeah. that another dig oh. at the Royals? Are you all right with that? It's a fascinating story, I have mm -hmm. to say. But um, Siobhan's got a Union Jack tattoo on her back, big back piece, big I don't Union mind. Jack. I, I'm okay with the Royals, mm. like... Pardon me. I do like the... I like the young royals. Like, I like... I really like Kate Middleton. Do you? Do you even know her? But it's only... Like you don't even know these people. But I have been... But it's just weird. I find it weird. Like, we... This is my... This is my view on it, right? And we're really us. Remember, you're <laughs> right, live. So you are live. We pay tax to live here, okay? And we do. We live oh, here, right? Oh, no. You're this not going to do a tax rate. No, but I'm just saying... You paid your taxes once and what is, <laughs> do They live in this big palace... Okay, this big palace and they're all hmm. minted, loaded and there's homeless people living on the street in the same country. There's people that can't feed their kids. I don't get it. Why is this Why is this a thing? Do you know what I mean? Why are they... Why, is it, is why it not, are they... The, yeah, where's the... It's history. It's, it's the history, right? Pish is what it is. The, ro the royal family. Uh -huh. But I do think like the new royals had, like... Th they were a bit more like, relatable somehow. What, like your one that left? But yeah, Harry. Like, like Meghan and Harry, for example, I was like, what What a fascinating story. And it's such a split thing. Like, I, I work with loads of British people mm -hmm. who, who aren't into the royals. They just right. are like, I don't, I don't get it. I'm not into it, whatever, like that. But it's the monarch. Like, yeah. it, it's just it's the history of it all. I don't envy <clears> them. I wouldn't want to be brought or born into that. Life, do you yeah. know what I mean? It's, do you know what I mean? Obviously, they can't say it. I'll say it for them. It's pish. <laughs> Some people actually agree with you. Yeah, but it's, it's just, I do think the poverty in the world is, is a real shame. Yeah. And, um, 
And then you look at the, the, this world that we're living in, the stuff that's going on in Palestine and stuff like that. It's bloody tragic. Yeah, I know. Um, anyway. I'm going to have to ask back you to the football. back down into your cage right. and cover you up yeah. with a big blanket. I've like, I've spoken at Tom again. I've said too much again, honestly. It's, it's just... I would, honestly, I'd bring back death penalty no, for Roo. No, stop. No, stop for Talking. me. Talking. No. <laughs> Death penalty for, for Rue, Rue, for yeah. you, yes, uh-huh. absolutely. Yeah. Especially if that tweet the other night, that was absolutely outrageous. Bang, bang out of outrageous. order. Outrageous. You were out mm-hmm. of order. Yeah. Um, listen, there was one thing we had to talk about. Oh, yeah, we did the NWSL. By the way, did you see that uh, Megan Rapinoe's shirt's been retired from the club? They've retired oh, her shirt. That's, nice. yeah. that's nice. Do you think mm. London City will retire number 31? Uh, they bloody should. They goddamn should. Who, who knows how long I've got left out there in that grass trying to run about. In pain, may I add, in agony. I'm mm-hmm. not. My Achilles are, by the way. I feel a little bit better, though my left one was in bits today. I don't think my night out helped, but that was just a mm. Paddy's Day celebration. I had to be um, done. Were you Irish dancing? No, I by wasn't. Way, some people in the comments saying that I have to let you speak, but uh-uh, because I'm your mum <laughs> at the end of the day, OK? So, no, I'm not letting her speak mm-hmm. in any more subjects that she's not well-equipped to deal with. Yeah, you know, there right is there. some things, but some things I shouldn't say, but, oh, God, you can't say it in this world about people jumping down your throat and wanting you oh do you want me to slap you again no do you want to slap me again because i nearly said another thing out of line honestly oh naughty dog uh-huh naughty dog um yeah sorry what what, what, what else were we going to say though what else was i going to say um, oh yeah the london city shirt number 31 yeah i Tire mean it. it's something we, we should probably bring forward to them i do think um and maybe they should like name if they do ever make a training a training ground, like name something after me too. Like what? The Russia stand? Rootube stand? Maybe something like that, just yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Cause I think I won't go down like as a lead balloon. A, a London City god. Yeah. That's They'll probably true. sack me and get rid of me next week. Mm-hmm. I'll probably piss someone else off. So uh, but it's good to put that out there. A statue. A statue. A statue. A stat, Rue? Yeah. It's so true. mental how Rue goes with everything. I know. It goes with everything. I'm just fantastic. Okay. Here, you need some Vaseline because your lips no, are chapped. Chat, gone. chat I don't like Vaseline. My post um, by the way, Angie's been in touch in the comments. She says BFC because it was their first game, of course, the first of the franchise. Yeah. They won. Oshwala yeah. getting the first goal too. Mm, mm-hmm. Could be an interesting old team because it's absolutely stacked with superstars, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. It'll be good to keep our eyes on it though. Um, I need to watch the highlights. I've seen a few goals floating about on old social media. Mm-hmm. But yeah, it'll be nice to watch some um, highlights. Seeing uh, Dee's team, though, they went off to a flyer. Denise O'Sullivan. Um, was it 5 now or 5 1? Uh, courage. 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 The can of courage. <laughs> um, <laughs> we were naming teams at training. I just seen this on TikTok and Lois Jong. She was obviously taking the piss, but it did give me a, a tuckle. She, she was like naming teams and then was like, Chicago, Chicago Fire. Um, just tickle me. You know, I find it funny. Is it not one though? No, her name's not Chicago Fire. Chicago Fire. Sh- Chicago All Stars. Is it I? But Chicago Fire. I thought it was quite funny. It's not Chicago All Stars. You were yeah. like, is that I? <laughs> I don't. <laughs> is that I? And also, I'm going to learn the names of the teams. <clears throat> it's so American, aren't it? They just. Get, I, love, um, I love the American, yeah, yeah. like the the American um, positive yeah. vibes of it all. Yeah. I actually think with Michelle Kang. Coming at the club, actually, London City Spirit sounds absolutely unbelievable. I would. I know that's right, not so out there, we'd, but... um, said that she'd said something when she was speaking to us and was saying about the names, but she liked lionesses because it's like Leon have that in their name, and I'm like, no, because lionesses to me are England. They yeah. are the lionesses. Ah, you can. So mm. it's just like, no, that's their name. So we sh- shouldn't. It shouldn't be. So yeah, I'd rather maybe London Spirit. Yeah. London River. London Wave. The London Thames. London Thorns. Uh-huh. London Lesbians. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, I think there's... London Lesbians yeah. is great. Yeah. London Lesbo Spirit. Lesbos. <laughs> yeah, that's good. That's, that's, that's good, yeah. Uh-huh. Michelle, if you are watching. Oh, um, right, you have to guess the, mm-hmm. the, the end of the name of the team, okay? Okay. KC... Kansas City current. Well done. Portland... Current, if, like, we'll stick current in there. I know, like... That's silly. Because, sorry... Uh, <laughs> Hold on a minute. You are cruising for a <laughs> bad egg. Mm-hmm. Portland, Forms, Racing, Louisville, Orlando, Pride, North Carolina, Courage, Houston, Dash, UT, 
Utah. Utah. Royals. Yep. <laughs> UT. Chicago. UTI. <laughs> Chicago. Chicago. You just say that. I'm hiding a lot of Chicago fire. Uh, Chicago. All Stars. Red Stars. Shit. I swear. Uh, Seattle. Rain. Washington. No, have they not rebranded? Re Seattle. Seattle Rain FC. Is it some? Okay, so they must have changed it. Maybe the, last year they did a different name. Can't keep up, I man. wish I could rewind. Right. Um, Angel. City. Bay. FC. Well done. That's Thank not you. too bad. Um, Thanks. Sorry if you guys are NWSL fans. We're on the old catch-up here. We're, We're learning. We are, we are with you. We're learning. We want to hey, hear we can go from you. Yeah. Oh, wouldn't that be nice? Wouldn't that be lovely? Right. Let's do it. Maybe hit up Beats. Out to, I saw her lying under the Golden Gate Bridge the other day. Was she? We're having a wee nap. Just Have they not put her up feet? in house? <sighs> They've not. She's <laughs> just lying out there. Who's lying out there? She's under the lying bridge. there under the bridge. Mm. Like that. Something ain't right. Something mm. ain't right. Um, but Oshwala getting that first goal, like we say, it's a, it's a big, big old franchise. And it's very, very exciting. Anything else you would like to add before we go? <sighs> this has been an absolute shit show. But I've liked it. It's always fun. 55 minutes gone here. Is it? Fantastic. 51, sorry. I'll round it up. Oh, my know. God, you've pissed me off again, Cass. What? My thing's not been on. What thing's not been oh, on? Damn it, that's why I should have my computer. What? My monetization. Cass, you turn it on at the end of it, it's absolutely Is fine. It? No, it doesn't <clears throat> work like that. Um, <laughs> what, you're only here for the money? There's nothing else I'd like to say. Is there anything else that I should speak about? Um, What's the ambition for the end of the season? If fifth, if we could get fifth, that'd be great, but that might not be possible because of other results. But um, if we can, yeah, go out with a bang and see how high up the table we can get. Mm -hmm. So if we got to six, that would be a great achievement considering um, how pish we've been. You need to stop saying that about no, your No, we team. have. What do you mean? Because you're I don't, in the team. We have been shocking. And now <laughs> we have been... We, people thought we were going to get promoted. I we're did, in a relegation. We're in a relegation battle. We still are in a relegation battle. Do you know what I mean? But it's already. Seriously, the when but when do you do your positivity talks? Now it started. Are you I'm being trained the, by Tony Robbins? Honestly, no, I do feel like I'm still allowed to say what is, but like now, did I not say? Sorry, did I not say before the game on Sunday we would win the game? Yeah. Yeah, so is that negative or positive? It's positive. It's been realistic to where and, we're at. And you scored. But now we're on a journey. We're on a journey. Remy's at the wheel. Remy at the and, wheel, um, like that. And we are on board we're on board and and like I said, sorry, but like the the last managers that were in, there's there's stuff that I will take from how they played. Um it just didn't work. It just didn't work. Um but like how obviously how Carolina seen the game, I actually really liked um mm. the way she seen stuff, the way she wanted to play football. There was like really good parts about that. Mm. Um but it just yeah, it just didn't work um when she was here. Um I know we're trying to just be a bit more compact, a bit more compact, and um, Remy's doing a very good job. She's all, she, sorry, that's what Remy feels like. <laughs> She's exhausted. When are you finished? She's trying to be positive. Remember um, when Carolina got the job, and I was like, Carolina Moraki? Moraki. And you were like, Morris. Morris. I was like, <laughs> Yeah. Gosh, that really got me. Uh, anyway, another good news, guys, that I've booked my hair extensions and they go in next week. Mm -hmm. So should I go and get my? I should go to the hairdressers maybe by the next. Mm, no, that's a bit ambitious. I was going to say by the next live, I'll have got my barnet fixed. When is the next games? What are the games this weekend? Maybe we could do a little watch along ski. What do you mean? A little watch along oh, in the a game. WSL. Jesus Christ! Sometimes I wonder if you ever listen. But WSL. Well, yeah. I was thinking I've got a game. I was thinking, what, what do you mean? So maybe if there's a Saturday game or a Sun. Sunday evening game. We'll, we'll figure it out. We'll, we'll figure it out, we'll guys. Figure it out. Listen, thank you very much to you for watching. From the bottom of my heart, thank you. From the bottom of her farts, thank you too. You are not alone. I am here with you. That's not bad. <laughs> I think I can actually sometimes take the piss. I can actually sing a little bit. Depends what song it is. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Honestly. That sounded, you got the tone mm -hmm. right there. Well done. Thanks. Take the rest of the night off. Uh, but really... Thanks again, everyone. Like, subscribe, share the love, peace, love. Hopefully we've not offended too many people tonight. Um, stay humble, stay safe. Skeet, 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 skew. Like, subscribe, leave a message. Man's not hot, never hot.